This week in New Zealand Today. I travel to Napier to view one of this country's most fascinating natural phenomenons since the pink and white terraces. Two countdown supermarkets directly across the road from each other. Over my left shoulder, you'll see a countdown supermarket. But then, to my right, another countdown supermarket. Countdown there, countdown there. What you're seeing is not trick photography. What you're seeing is 100% real. For the first time, I was seeing the majestic beauty of adjacent countdowns Fuck off pack and safe with my own eyes. It was a dream that quickly turned to a nightmare. Two unidentified countdown employees had seen us and were now making phone calls. Moments later, we got our own call. What's going on? Uh, we've been asked to leave the premises. By who? By countdown. From doing a chat in the car park? Yes. We haven't even gone and talked to anyone yet. We've been filming in the countdown car park now for less than 10 minutes, and we've been asked to leave the premises. My first question is more questions. Why have they asked me to leave? What are they hiding? If they're just a business trying to run one of their businesses next to another business, why is that none of my business? I had to do my own interviews from off Countdown property. We're not making this up. It sounds like bullshit, but I promise you, this is what really happened. It's f***ing weird. What's up, bro? I've just been banned from the um, Countdown car park. Do you think this is a conspiracy? They're all owned by the same owners, really. 1% of the world owns the world. Is this like the Illuminati? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's f***ed. Sorry, sorry, children. In the time we've been doing this interview, about 300 children have gathered. Do you think eventually one of them will close down? Nah. Out, and then we'll be left with one, the final countdown. It's the Why do you think I've been banned from countdown? Oh, well, obviously you're digging into something you shouldn't be. Do you think I'm in danger? Maybe if it gets too big, could be. It was getting too big. The police had arrived, possibly to get a sandwich, but I couldn't take that risk. Run, children, run! Why are we running? They're on to us! They're on to us! Oh, shit! It's another countdown. The countdowns are everywhere. I was surrounded. I knew too much. I needed to pull back. Fortunately, I had a top flight reconnaissance drone to film from a distance. From a distance. It was too much of a distance. I needed to get closer to find someone who would talk. Psst, kid, you know about countdown? Psst, mate, you know about the countdowns? Mate, you went so fast, so fast. I was going so fast. Mate, slow. have you ever stalked people before? It's slow and creepy, not fast and creepy. Psst, hey, how's it going? Come over here. That was way creepier than I thought it would be. If anything, that was attracting more attention from the police. And I still had questions. Under the cover of darkness, I sent in a team member for a secret shopper price check. Here's a list of stuff to buy for the price comparison. Here's a Belclava to hide your identity. And this is a gun for protection. Good luck, bro. Did you get receipts? No. Well, how much was that? It was free. Our results were inconclusive, and we were running out of time. The final countdown was on. The, the next day, I knew what to do. I had to go to the top, and it doesn't get much higher than Napier Mayor and Mayor of Napier, Bill Dalton. What are you hiding? We're, we're not hiding them. We're, what are you hiding? We, we show them very clearly. His story didn't add up. Big countdown had got to him. It was time to turn the screws. How did this happen? Well, one was originally a Woolworth supermarket, then it became a countdown. In the meantime, of course, they built another countdown. It sounds so simple. There must be a conspiracy. Certainly no conspiracy. Wink at me if there's a secret countdown conspiracy going on. Say what if there's a conspiracy? Blink if there's a conspiracy. <sighs> Damn it, he's good. You can stop staring now, you can, you can break it. I promise, I promise we're not gonna cut this together in any <laughs> weird way. And there it was, conclusive proof of a conspiracy. Case closed.